Now what I'm doing in here is uh, I'm going to be playing with a, uh, a cliff face in a beach. Well, perfect chance. Change the battery up on the light here pretty quick. What is the shadow color you're using right now, Tom? Uh, this is a, uh, you mean this color? The, the yellowish color? Oh, the yellowish. It's just, it was just yellow ochre. Yellow ochre. Yeah. Um, this is actually. Uh, so if I put in the other color over it, it's almost giving you more of a uh, there is some of that in there. I'd like to get a little bit more of a highlighted uh, Unfortunately, I got a little uh, if I had whiter paper underneath this it would be uh, I could do a lighter green lighter green, but again, I'm kind of working on the fly here so. What do you mean by lighter cases? Well, I I would do if I had paper without pigment on it right now, uh, I would probably try to get a little bit of a uh, highlight of uh, the foliage that's back here. Uh -huh. and, uh, on the brand of watercolor paper, they can be various colors. It could be almost a, a cream, almost a so what, what color are you putting using for the greenery? Uh, used ultramarine, a little bit of cobalt, and I used that Indian yellow. Nice. Does it say bright white? Or you can have, yeah, it'll say bright white or just white. Yeah, I, I never use bright white. Yeah, never forget to use the side of your brush mm -hmm. because uh, you can break up quite a bit by using the uh, the tooth of the paper. We have about another 30 minutes. 30? Oh, easy. I love your sky. What color are you using for the shadows now on the background? Uh, this is uh, ultramarine, a little bit of cobalt, and Indian yellow. Uh, I've been using Indian yellow a little bit lately because, uh, you know, greens are really hard to mix. I like the Indian yellow. It's so transparent. Yeah, and it, and, I mean, it looks like a, a real yellow. I mean, a real, the paper it does a normal, right. natural, natural yellow. yellow. Yeah. Not unlike um, New Gaon Vosges, but I think it's a little warmer than New Gaon Vosges. Both very transparent. <laughs> Sky. Yeah, that sky is pretty amazing. It really is. I wonder you're all done. Are you going to have to flatten this picture? Is that what you're doing? Uh, you know, when this dries, it'll be a lot flatter. Will it? Will yeah. it be flat? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not, I never have a problem. It won't be perfectly flat, but it'll, it'll be. It's never perfectly flat. But I, I put them, I wet the back and then put them myself in the house. While you paint or after? After it's done. After Never had to do that. You know, I've, I've tried using, uh, putting it underneath a couple pieces of paper and then using an iron, but I'm afraid that it flattens out some of the tooth. Okay. 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 Ok
Yeah. Loses. Oh. I had someone taught me to spray the back slightly and then wipe off the staining wet yeah. water and then put it under a couple of books in between. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I'm kind of making up this background as I'm going. It's lovely. And uh, I'm choosing to use uh, uh, darks against lights to give uh, a good feel for the uh, structures here on the boat. Um, I will say that I cheated a little bit and I used a little bit of resist on the masts and on this uh, roof line. That's why I'm you can okay. paint around it pretty you can easily. Really go. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that's why I'm going. I'm going fast. That's why I, I wanted to have it because I, I don't have the luxury of. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it just masking material or is it something else? Uh, it's masking material. It's uh, I can't remember the name. Prism. It's blue. Prism. Yeah. It's blue. 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 Okay. It's um, you know, the variation that I'm doing in the background here is giving you a, a little bit of a feeling that the, uh, the shoreline is not, it's undulating, it's coming in and out a little bit. So back here, and I'm throwing a little darker in here just because, because I can. <laughs> but it's gonna enhance the, uh, the boat. And uh, it just makes it more interesting. I'm doing a little squiggly, squiggly stuff in here. And you can use your fingers too. It, it looks so realistic and atmospheric. And that'll dry uh, lighter, so just because it's there and a little brighter right now doesn't mean it's going to be out of control. Okay, enough for that. It's fantastic. So it, it's got some recession to it. Um, be careful, I don't touch the uh, trees. So this part of the transom is in shadow. <coughs> I just made it up. I, it's a it's a photo of a, a work a crab yeah. or, or a oyster boat. I was just curious yeah. where. Is it a dead rise? Uh, no, a dead rise doesn't have the masts on it. Dead rise tends to be uh, a little truncated. So I'm using uh, you know the, the old standard. I don't know. Sergeant used it. Ultramarine and burnt sienna for uh, the dark. Uh, are here. And again, I'm not I'm not being uh, real meticulous. On this particular boat from the photograph I got, you can see that it's a piece of timber, so it's got a little bit of uh, yellow in it, yellow red. So I'm going to utilize that as just a little bit of a point to bring it out. He's not using a ruler, but we'll use a trick. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is 
particular boat, I don't know why, the uh, color of the engine house is as it is, but it's kind of a funky looking blue, so what the heck. Rubbing the frisket off. Oh, mask off. I thought you were finger painting. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put it past me. <laughs> Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Okay, what I might do here is uh, go back to my uh, rigger and I'm going to start uh, laying in some notes of detail.
so the dark stuff is you're looking through into the water. I don't know. That's getting there. Yep. Well, we're going to have to wrap up here. Yeah, I just had to get a little okay. more wear and tear on this. Oh, geez, I forgot. Rope lines. <laughs> and he's also got to stay here in the front. Mm -hmm. That story about Mrs. Close, the little old lady, it is 100% true, by the way. And she did look like a gypsy. I was a very impressionable young man. Well, looks like she taught you well. Do you do all your, I'm guessing you do all your own drawings? Yeah. You don't use any kind of, that's good. Sometimes I'll use a sh uh, shadow box. To oh, yeah, yeah. Especially in aviation subjects to work in right. Do you have like your own models and like stuff? Seventy second. Oh yeah, Tamiya yeah. models. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. That's quick. Is that an hour? Hour and a half. Excellent job. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing that you got that far. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming, Tom, and doing this. For oh us. yeah. Outstanding. Go ahead. There you go. Yeah. When are you, you going to have it ready for sale? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>